Who comes first in your mind when we talk about a powerhouse performer that has iconic fashion choices? From her short skirts to her leather boots, she was a style icon before we even knew what that was. Not only that, this queen of rock and roll was known for her hits like Proud Mary and What's Love Got To Do With It. If you've ever found yourself belting out these tunes in the shower or dancing around your living room like a maniac, don't worry, you're not alone. You're intrigued to know her, aren't you? Well, I won't prolong your agony, and let's talk about Tina Turner, including her childhood, family, love life, business ventures, and how she rose to fame. Tina Turner, born Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, had a rough start in life. Her parents, Zelma and Floyd Bullock, were sharecroppers who worked tirelessly to make ends meet. Tina, the youngest of their three children, and her parents' relationship was far from perfect. Well, I guess you could say Tina's parents really knew how to share the workload as sharecroppers. They shared the crops, the chores, and even the arguments. In fact, her father was abusive and would often beat her mother, which made for a very unhappy home life. But despite the tumultuous household, Tina found solace in music. She sang in the church choir and was even discovered by a local musician when she was just a teenager. But before we get to that part of her story, let's talk about her family. Like I said, Tana's parents had a less than ideal relationship, but that's putting it mildly. Her father was a womanizer who had several affairs and even had a child with another woman while still married to Zelma. But you know what they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And that was certainly the case with Tina's sister, Aline. Aline was known for her good looks and flirtatious behavior, and she had her fair share of affairs as well. In fact, she even had a child with Tina's high school sweetheart. Talk about keeping it in the family. Despite all of this drama, Tina managed to rise above it all and pursue her dream of becoming a singer. She joined a local band called the Kings of Rhythm and quickly became a crowd favorite. But it wasn't until she met a young musician named Ike Turner that her career really took off. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, not Ike Turner. Because yeah, Ike was kind of controlling and abusive, both physically and emotionally. But you know, he wasn't always the abusive monster he's been made out to be. In fact, when Tina first met him, he was charming, talented, and had a vision for their future together. They formed a musical partnership and began performing together, with Ike as the band leader and Tina as the lead singer. Their musical partnership was like a sandwich, Ike was the bread, and Tina was the delicious filling that made it worth taking a bite. And boy, did they make beautiful music together. They had a string of hits, including A Fool in Love, River Deep, Mountain High, and of course, Proud Mary. But as their success grew, so did their personal problems. The sandwich that I am talking about became spicy in the long run. As I said earlier, Ike became controlling and abusive. Tina trapped in a toxic marriage. He would constantly belittle her, physically harm her, and make her feel like she wasn't worth anything without him. But Tina didn't let that stop her from pursuing her dreams. In point of fact, it was her determination and strength that ultimately led to her leaving Ike and starting a successful solo career. She became known for her electrifying live performances, and her legendarily powerful voice earned her the nickname the Queen of Rock and Roll. When Tina Turner broke up with Ike in 1978, she was more than just rolling on a river. She was ready to take the music world by storm as a solo artist. And hell yeah, did she deliver. Her solo career was a roller coaster ride of hits, high notes, and high fashion. But it wasn't just her music that made her a household name. It was her resilience and strength in the face of adversity that captured the hearts of millions. Tina's solo career began with the release of her album Rough in 1978, which showcased her raw talent and signature raspy vocals. It was the perfect introduction to the world of Tina Turner as a solo artist, rough around the edges, but with a fire that couldn't be contained. And boy, did that fire spread like wildfire. Her next album, Love Explosion, in 1979, was a disco-infused hit that solidified her status as a solo superstar. But let also not forget her fashion sense that contributed to her fame too. The woman knew how to dress to impress, and she did it with flair. From her iconic fringe dresses to her glittering bodysuits, Tina's stage outfits were just as much a part of her image as her music. About her hair? That wild, gravity-defying mane was a statement all on its own. I mean, who needs a fan blowing their hair when you've got Tina's natural wind machine? As her career continued to soar, Tina became an inspiration to women all over the world. She proved that you could overcome even the most difficult of situations and come out stronger on the other side. And speaking of coming out on the other side, Tina did find love again after her unsuccessful marriage to Ike. 
Enter Erwin Bach, a German music executive who swept Tina off her feet. The two met in 1985 and fell in love, despite the fact that Erwin was 16 years younger than Tina. But hey, age is just a number, right? And when you've got a love like Tina and Erwin's, numbers don't matter. Their love story is one for the ages. Erwin was Tina's rock during some of the toughest moments of her life, including a battle with cancer in the early 2000s, and Tina in turn was Erwin's muse and inspiration. In fact, it was Erwin who convinced Tina to come out of retirement and embark on a world tour in 2008, a tour that would end up becoming one of the highest grossing tours of all time. It just goes to show that even after going through a difficult and abusive relationship, there can still be love and happiness waiting on the other side. And Tina is proof that it's never too late to find that happiness. She found it in Erwin, and their love story is one that continues to inspire people all over the world. Not only that, these two are also quite the entrepreneurs. That's right, the power couple has dipped their toes in various business ventures over the years, and let's just say they've been pretty successful. In 2018, Tina and Erwin opened up Tina Turner's restaurant in Cologne, Germany. The restaurant boasts a menu of classic American cuisine, with dishes like burgers, ribs, mac and cheese, and cocktails. But the real star of the show, the decor of course, the restaurant is decked out in all things Tina, with memorabilia and photos adorning the walls. I mean, who wouldn't want to chow down on a burger while surrounded by Tina's iconic stage outfits? But that's not all, Tina and Erwin also have a vineyard in Switzerland. You know what, I'm starting to envy this couple. I don't even have a partner to begin with, and there they are, busy with a lot of things. Well anyways, the couple produces their own wine under the label Estate Erwin Bach. The vineyard, located in the idyllic town of Kusnacht, produces a variety of wines, including a Pinot Noir, a Chardonnay, and a Rosé. And if you're lucky enough to visit the vineyard, you might even catch a glimpse of Tina and Erwin themselves. The couple is known to be hands-on when it comes to the winemaking process. So what's next for Tina and Erwin's business ventures? Who knows, maybe they'll open up a hotel next or launch their own line of hot sauce. Hey, it worked for Beyonce. Whatever they choose to do, we have no doubt it will be a success. After all, when you're Tina Turner and Erwin Bach, everything you touch turns to gold. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.